Hey guys, welcome to our How to Handyman series. Today we're actually going to put a um, shelf in a shower. So putting a shelf in a shower, or um, you could use shelves, or sometimes you need to put soap dishes, those sort of things, they're all pretty straightforward. So today what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a shelf up on the wall. Now this particular type of shelf has feet, there's a couple of feet. The feet go on the, on the back here. So what we've done is we want the feet to be roughly 50 mm from the edge in this case. So we've marked on the shelf two positions where uh, those feet are going to go. And then what we're going to do is just mark the wall appropriately to, um, um, so we can drill some holes. Now, we want the shelf to be level, so what we're going to do is use the spirit level component. Let's see if we can get a focus. So we're going to use is the spirit level component on our uh, level, on our square, just to make sure that we get a perfectly level shelf. And to do that, we mark 50 mil, position the shelf where we want it. And then we get our bubble. We get our bubble in the middle of the, um, the middle of the level. And then we simply mark on the wall the position of where we're gonna put our supporting feet. And so what we end up with is two marks on the wall. And that's where we're now going to um, put our supports. So we've got our first mark, which is in the hole, and we'll just mark a second one just below it. And the same on the other side. And now all we need to do is drill some holes. Now we've covered off how to drill holes through tiles um, in another video, so if you just look up there somewhere, you'll actually see a link to that video. Otherwise, we'll get started and uh, slowly grind some holes through this one. And as always, let's just start on an angle. Now tell you, it's nice and slow. Now these tiles are terribly hard, so this is going to be a really long, slow process. So. So I'll come back to you once this particular bit of the job's done. And we're through. So as you can see, we've actually been keeping everything pretty wet as we've been going through, um, just using a rag with some water. Um, you'll also see, let's see if I can get this in closely for you. Um, let's just see if we can just do a bit of focus. You see I've been using a uh, boring bit, which for this particular type of tile is just fabulous. Um, some of the other, um, this is a, quite an expensive one, but uh, is well worth the money for getting through hard tiles. Okay, so all we're going to do now is let's just give everything a bit of a wipe down. Just to get all of the rubbish off. We'll try not to turn the tap on as we're doing this because we don't want to get wet. Next step is just put some wall anchors in. Um, normally you find that a lot of these products come with some sort of anchor. Generally throw these cheap nasty ones away and buy yourself some decent wall plugs. Um, these are the little green ones, you'll buy them at the hardware stores. So let's get a focus for you there. So I use it, prefer, well and truly prefer those. All right. And all we do is we just hammer those into the wall. Just make sure when you hammer them in, you don't hit the tile. You don't want to break a tile. All right, that's your wall anchors in. So now what we're ready to do is just put the uh, mounting plates on. Now these little mounting plates, you'll see that they've got um, little holes for adjustment if you need them, so um, yeah, we can sort through that. Now, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that um, I actually drilled these holes in the wrong spot. Um, 
the setup for this should actually have been vertical. So these two, these two roll plugs should have been at 90 degrees out. But really quick and easy way to fix that is I've just drilled a couple of holes, extra holes, in my uh, back plate. So now the back plate will just uh, go straight into place. That's way easier than really trying to drill holes through the tiles. One plate on. Now two plates on. Quick thing, just put a little bit of silicon over the tops of these just to stop any water going through. Now these feet have a, uh, an Allen key underneath, so just use an Allen key there. And then we just do the second one. Once they're both locked in, we're ready just to slide the glass in. Just make sure it's nice and central and tighten the screws up. Being glass, just make sure you don't tighten them up too much. They usually have a little rubber foot to hold them in place. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So nothing too difficult about putting you know, shelves in or the same thing for soap dishes and those sort of things. That's it for this video, a nice, quick, easy one. If you like what you see, same as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Plates, you'll see that they've got um, little holes for adjustment if you need them. So um, yeah, we can sort through that.